Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for tuning in for another great interview here on King Solomon Entertainment Hollywood Now. Yes, we have another great, great guest today on our Hollywood Now platform. For those who, of you who do not know, maybe tuning in for the first time, our Hollywood Now is where we interview Hollywood stars, Hollywood insiders, and influencers uh, to let you know a little something maybe you probably knew or maybe something our goal is something you didn't know about our special guest. So um, before we bring our special guest on, we're going to introduce him formally. We want to ask you to take this time to share this link. Um, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, all of the links are in the comments section. You can um, click on the links as of now. Also, you can go on to Instagram, King underscore Solomon underscore ENT underscore. And make sure you guys share in our bio. You also can click directly to our other our other platforms on King on on YouTube, King um, Instagram, as well as Facebook, King Solomon Entertainment. Check us out. If you want to partner with us, connect with us, um, please send us official um, email at King Solomon Entertainment TV, and we can connect with you. Ask us about sponsorship and supporting us on this platform. Um, without further ado, here on Hollywood Now, we want to get right into the interview. We are so excited to have the founder of Fox Soul. Uh, he also is a television producer, a filmmaker. He also created the entertainment um, industry uh, exec for um, the Du Bois Entertainment. Also, he was former president of the Bad Boys um, um, Television, as well as Bad Boys um, Worldwide Entertainment. He also have partnered with such great people as MC Light and worked on a wonderful project with um, Damon Dash. Um, called Honor Up and so many other things and all the great program he has created on the Fox um, Soul channel. We are so um, elated to have with us the president of Fox Soul, executive producer, James Du Bois. How you doing, sir? Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for doing this, man. We're so excited to have you. I know I've been trying to get you on and we're finally here. So please share with our audience who is James Du Bois, where you come from, and how did you get into the several entities in the music industry and entertainment industry? Well, um, just in a nutshell, I'm, um, I'm currently the general manager, head of programming for Fox Show, which is Fox First um, Streaming, OTT, uh, OTT Streaming uh, Network. I'm uh, born and raised in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, you know, grew up playing sports, went to play uh, full scholarship football at Wake Forest University, and played there, was invited to the Detroit Lions camp. Um, that didn't turn out the way I love, but thank God I have my degree in broadcast communication and uh, use that to, you know, to uh, move into the next career, if you will. Um, and so throughout the journey of from PA all the way up, ups and downs, you know, the, the roller coaster of life, <laughs> as they call it, um, here we are today. So that's that, that's who I am in a nutshell. I'm still still growing, still learning, and uh, still trying to hopefully. Uh, inspire somebody uh, with, with, with my body of work. No, that's amazing. And you and that you have done, and you have done a lot. Like I say, there's so much there, I know where to really begin, but we're gonna just dive in. Um, let's start with the, the camp of Detroit Lions. It's like getting to the promised land, and mm -hmm. it's like you get to experience all the NFL, all the professionals, it's like, wait a minute, you know? And so what was that like? Cause that had to change you. And of course you had to, you know, you know, get, you know, um, really focus on what you will be doing next, but that had to like really make you focus on that, right? Yeah, I wasn't really, um, you know, quite honestly, you, you grow up since literally, I think I started playing football, sports in general, at the age of five or six, something like, something like that. And so you dream of you know, come, becoming a professional athlete and then you get there and it's cut short. Um, mm. For me personally, it, it was, that was the beginning of depression for me. You know, you, you mm -hmm. work so hard, you, you get there, and then it's cut short. But listen, it was it was it was a beautiful experience. You met some great people um, along the way, and uh, and I wouldn't change it for the world. I, mean, I wish right. I could have been there a little longer, but um, life has a way of telling you what 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 you can and can't do, no matter what you think. So, uh, but yeah, my 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 sports journey was beautiful. 
and uh, to, to be in Detroit for that short period of time was, was, a, was definitely a experience. So where your focus began to transition into broadcasting, you mentioned a broadcasting degree, and as well as entertainment. When did that begin? No, early on. I mean, I, I think I think one of the things I always try to say is that I, I feel extremely blessed that I knew very early that being a creator, um, it, it, it was my gift. We all have our gifts. And so that, that was really my gift. I mean, when I was always wanted to entertain and create, I was, you know, I DJ back home in, in junior high and high school. I was in a rap group briefly, but I had to quit that because I was horrible. Um, you know, and then I started uh, shooting uh, music videos as a freshman in college and so forth. So I always wanted to tell stories. I always wanted to tell our stories um, for, for the culture. And that's been in, in me since, since I really can, re can remember. There was nothing else I really wanted to do besides sports and entertainment. And, and, and I've been blessed to, to, to be able to do both. Wow. So early on, working with some of the, uh, I'm sure they was back then, we see them always as great, but uh, Sean Puffy Combs and Damon Dash, like you work with, you know, who, who we know to be the great, and they've been doing it, and we watched them do it since they was young. So mm -hmm. it's like they've been great for a long time to us, you know, but now they're like definitely icons as a, a lot of people come behind them. But you got to work with the best early on. Like, what was that like? Um. You know, it was really, uh, you know, I take Puff in, in, in the beginning. It was when I was really about to start my business and so forth. Like, you get around different people and you are, you try to study their success, what makes them successful. Um, and, and, and that man just is so unbelievable in in, 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 in his gifts. He he knows his value. Um, he knows what he brings to the table and he loves the culture. So. I always tell anyone, if you're around him and you can't learn something from him in terms of understanding the value of working hard, um, but also working smart and then surrounding yourself with great relationships, that's that's something that, that's your fault. So I, I learned a great deal about relationships and, and and really understanding your value. And then, you know, you go back to to, to Dame Dash, who you can never – what he, he did with, with Jay and, 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 and Biggs is – that, that's that's forever a part of our culture. No, no, no matter you know, how, no matter what, that's going to be forever part of our culture. So I, it's always kudos to him. He's a very smart guy. Um, he's a visionary. You know, he sees things. He's th he, he's ahead of his time a lot of times. And you know, I, I love Dave, and I tell him, you know, he, he's very smart, but his delivery can be a mess sometimes. You know, he needs to change up his package a little bit so so people can get it a, a little more. <laughs> but he is, a, but it's extremely smart, a, a, a real entrepreneur, um, and, and, and a good hearted man. No, they definitely have it. Like, they, they let us have a front row seat of them watching them get it out of the mud because they created it and they have owned it, which was something phenomenal that has not been done before and have been able to hold on to it. And nobody does it like they do. So like you said, if we're not learning from them, something wrong with us. So that's, that's really wonderful. So let's get into um, film. What makes you want to do film after doing television and radio? I mean, I honestly wanted to, to, and I'm still trying. I, I'm not there yet. Um, it always been film, television, and music for me. Like I really, yeah. my vision and my goal from day one when I wrote down in my book was I wanted to be the black dreamer. You know, you had some people doing film, some people doing music, some people doing TV. And I wanted to bring it all under one banner because I loved it all. Um, and, and, and so it was just another part of me moving in the direction of trying to build that um, and, 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 and use, again, my gift as a storyteller to really to really tell the story for the culture. Um, you know, some of the things I, I started way too early and I wasn't ready. Um, and, and I learned some valuable lessons from that. But film, TV, and music is what I'm here to do. I feel like that I'm, I'm walking in my purpose when I'm doing those things. Yeah, and it's and it's it's and it's it's been done several times because Disney do it all the time. They have a music division, a TV. <laughs> right. yeah. They make it look so easy, but and they're great at all three. You be you be blessed to be in any sector of that because they master pretty much all of it. So yeah, that's that's wonderful bringing that together because it kind of like it's indicative of one and the other. So that definitely can work. That's a great great thing to do. Um, so. Uh, working with MC Light, what was that like? She's she's an amazing. I met her. She's an amazing person. I'm a beautiful, beautiful sister, man. Very, very smart, very talented. Um, 
you know, she she believed in my music dreams. And again, I, I started that way, way too early, but um, she's an executive, she's an artist, she's, she's a friend, uh, she, she's just smart. I, 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 I tell you, man, that's just such a, a beautiful person that I still have to stay in contact with just to feel her spirit. You know what I mean? Um, if nothing else, I just need that energy that 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 she gives off. Any any time we get an opportunity to connect and talk, so um, yes. I, I love life. Yes. So now let's get into the Fox Soul beginning, the Fox Soul creation, the Fox Soul journey, and the right. phenomenal things you're doing over there. How did that come about? Um, I was in Atlanta doing a show, uh, EP on a show called Dish Nation. Um, that mm. Fox syndicated for Fox. Really. Yeah. Great show. They reached out when they were thinking about starting the, uh, the network. They didn't know which culture they wanted to hit. They knew it wanted to be niche. They had done some focus groups. And when they reached out to me for my ideas or thoughts, um, you know, I, I really thought, obviously, for us, we needed to do it a different way, but we need to be authentic, whatever we were going to do. So we started having ideas, and then we did a test run, I believe, in uh, June or July 2019. And I was flying back and forth from Atlanta to a to LA um, to pitch, you know, Lachlan Murdoch, Jack Abernathy, Stephen Brown, all the way down. And then finally in uh, September of 2019, uh, it got greenlit and uh, we beta launched in October and officially launched um, January 13, 2020. And then we all know what happened a month later. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. right? but, you know, Fox, Fox Soul is, is again, man, it's a true blessing for me personally. I feel like everything I've been through while wow, was setting me up for this moment. Like, wow. like Fox Soul is here when our motto is our course, our truth, is I wanted to celebrate our rhythms as well as our blues. You know what I'm saying? Our ups and our downs, because a lot of the traditional outlets always show the negative side of us. Um, but they don't show us coming up out of those situations, coming up out of the mud, as you had just mentioned. Yeah. So every, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a startup. So it's an entrepreneur spirit. Um, but I think we've been blessed to still be here. We're doing really well, and we're sticking to our mission of giving the community, giving the viewer, a voice where they can be heard in real time, connect with our shows and our hosts in real time, um, and not only be entertained but educated and inspired. Wow, that's amazing. And so now that you're doing it, you're in it, and the vision, I'm sh I'm sure the vision and the mission is becoming more and more clear um, every day, and the sky is the limit. Um, where do you see it becoming? What do you see is where you see is going? Well, you know, the the vision is right now we're AVOD, so we're mm -hmm. we're advertising supported. Um, eventually I would like to have an SVOD as well. Where we have more premium content that people can go see, um, a little more risk, if you will. So I, I want to stick to that space because the core cutting, as you know, your study is still is still growing, it's still happening. Yes. People are, are, are cutting from traditional cable um, and, and going to streaming. So I want to be able to touch all of our culture. I want to be able to make sure that this is the place. Where you could get the totality of us. You know what I mean? You can come and get every emotion that you feel when you wake up um, and go consume your content. My adventure, I want Fox Soul to be the, the place you come to before you go anywhere else. So, right. Either the AVOD, continue to grow that. Eventually, hopefully, get to an SVOD as well with, with different content. But then being able to touch everything that I said film, television, and music under the Fox Soul banner. Absolutely. And so um, are you happy with where it is today? Wait, are you happy with what you got on there now? I'm, I'm very happy with it. No question about it. Listen, but, you know, I'll be remiss. I don't want to say this is, there are a lot of people behind the scenes that you don't get a chance to see or talk to that deserve a great deal of credit for even getting us here to where we are. It's a phenomenal team. But, you know, anything goes through its ups and downs. Um, greatness is never a one man show. So I always want to make sure that, that the team, that people understand there's so many beautiful minds that look like us, that really look like us, that think like us, that, that love our culture, that are really making this thing go every day. So am I happy? Yes. Um, but on the flip side, I'm, I'm not satisfied for a lot of reasons. The fact that 
you know, you want to grow it, but at the same time, it's a business as well. And, it, and as you know, it takes a while for a startup business to become profitable. Yes. But if um, I'm charged with that because at the end of the day, when 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 the Fox Corp starts looking at their portfolio, we all know the first thing that goes if they have to start cutting anything is the business that's not making money. So, so I have to service the culture in an authentic way, but also have to service the business side of this thing in an authentic way as well um, to, to keep us going. So I'm extremely happy just to still be here, um, you know, but I'm not yet satisfied. I don't think nobody on the team is yet satisfied because we have a vision that we haven't uh, achieved yet. We have a long way to go, but, but, but it's a great start. No, it, absolutely. That's a great start. And it's a true phenomenon because – of when it was actually created, which is um, the start of a pandemic, you know? And mm. so for you to start with that such phenomenon and that challenge there, and I believe there was this great divine intersection of production and talent, and right. it had to come full circle because now it relies more on talent because everybody was secluded and had to still get that TV challenge production up and it's like make it interesting enough people to stick around to watch it and it's like you really did a good job at that because the personalities you selected people wanted to see and 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 what they were showing people was like it was definitely intrigued to stick around and see uh what they're talking about and what they're doing so i know that challenge is always there and that we move towards post pandemic hopefully like you say it can really begin to um kind of like develop or cultivate more into other ideas you you want to take the, the shows and stuff like that so it's like it's all come together but right now uh it's just you know a phenomenon to watch the talent you have on there and the selections that you have made which is really really good like you definitely pick some good people to have on there and then you added the news dynamic and i love like i always love melissa for it but to add the news dynamic to it and the way they talk about like I say, our culture and they cover us. They did a great job with that. I love the news platform. I love what you do on the news platform. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you brought that up because I, I want to also say, I mean, think about something. The pandemic hit. We start on a network, right? Yes. We, yes. pandemic. we launch officially in, in January and then everybody goes home in March. <laughs> and, and, and we had to quickly pivot, but by the grace of God, it, it was a blessing in disguise because it, we were able to expand our footprint um, because we were in the studio at the time. And if you weren't in L.A., you couldn't come in as a guest and be a part of the show because the technology we were doing with Skyping and calling in was still being worked on. But because Zoom happened, we were able to get no matter where you were, where you were in the world, you could be a part of it. So but I always say mention to the talent. Like. A lot of us, and just to be honest, we say in our community, we don't, we don't help each other. And, and I, I want to dispel that right now because I've had you know, Tammy Roman and Jeezy and Keisha Cole and Angela Yee and yes. Claudia and Vivica A. Fox and Lisa Ray and Selena and, and on and on, everyone that we yes. have. Yes. As a startup network, I couldn't give them what they have already earned and deserved to get, right? But they understood the vision that I was trying to do, and they wanted to help out. Um, so they came and really helped to help, help me and help help Fox Soul out as a network. And that doesn't happen. So I, I want to make sure I, I give a shout out to all the talent that actually said, "James, I want to help you be successful." Um, and no, I you know you can't afford me right now to 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 a degree. I, I see where you're going, and this is this is so much needed. And the fact that they thought enough of of me and us as a platform to align their brand with that that speaks volume that that speaks more than anything else to me man so i want to make sure i say to every talent that's been on fox soul that is still on fox soul across the board thank you because like you said they're the reason people come to watch no absolutely it, it, was, it was like i say it's all of it come full circle and i think it was just the timing of that and it made sense it was just such a Phenomenon to watch, and I'm glad that Fox Soul had been able to to do that and to be a catalyst to make that happen. And so, um, coming back to production in person, is that's where it's going, or you, or it's? I, I feel like part of it going to still be the way it looks now, and and also going back to put in in house production, studio production, right? 
I think we're probably it, it'll be a hybrid moving yeah. forward. I mean, COVID, COVID makes you be creative. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think so. There's certain shows that we definitely want to get out of the Zoom format and get back in the studio and give it a look and a feel and that energy with host being together. Um, but I don't think we'll do everything in the studio again. We don't necessarily have to be have the whole staff operating out of offices again. Like we've learned to really be productive um, in, the, in in this in the, in the environment that we're currently that we currently find ourselves in. So we definitely want to go back to the studio. We, we're planning on that um, probably October to a degree, uh, but we're also going to remain you know, virtual um, as well. So it, it'll probably be a little 50-50, 60-40 split. Right, right. That's, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. how was it important? How important was it for you to get a new show on Fox O? Oh, that's, that's extremely important. And I want, actually want to advance the news. I, I want to bring more more opinions in terms of news, more news. But it is a difference with it. And I and, and I, I thought it was great. Again, the team behind that is we just didn't want to report the news. We wanted to really give an opinion and have a viewpoint and have our anchors talk about it. Um, because if you watch our news every day, it's really psychologically debilitating. They're killing us. We're killing ourselves. We're dying. All the things that they report and show if you saw that every day, seven days a week, how could you walk away anything other than angry, mad, and, and, and feeling low, right? Think about the George Floyd, God bless his soul, during that time. All the images that we were seeing on TV of ourselves of this cop coward on, 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 on the brother's neck like that, and then over and over, and then more and more was happening. Um, so we wanted to, again, show this to talent, report the news in its raw form, um, give a perspective that we don't have to be judged for or watered down, but then also celebrate the good stuff that goes on in our communities and our culture as well. So we try to give a real balance in our in our new show. And I think it's important that we give more of it. Um, so I've been trying to strateg strategically partner with certain news outlet um, to give us a little more of that, if you will. No, that's great. I can't wait to see what comes of it because it's like, um, the way it looks now, I love it. So um, it's actually like, oh, going to get better from there. But the fact that you guys are doing it, that's it's, it was refreshing to see. And you guys did a great job at what you're doing so far. It's, it's amazing. And so um, with, with the network, um, like I said, you, you're doing a wonderful job. And like I say, it's going to continue to grow and to grow. Uh, what would you like to see? What would you like to, if you, what would make you happy to see? to happen, like some immediate change. And I know you mentioned the long-term change, but what would want to be the immediate change you'd like to see happen at the network? Um, one of the big things, and I'm hoping we, in October, is bringing back kids' animation. Um, you know, no more fat out, but there's no more things that I grew up on that I could wake up to on Saturday morning. That's Saturday morning. <laughs> yeah, that's Saturday morning. So I think we're close to closing uh, a few deals with some companies that Saturday mornings the kid could the kids could get up in our community and see images of themselves um, on TV in an animated format that's speaking to them that's smart um, that's very important um, to, to me as well and then just bringing a lot more of um, different numbers everything that we touch as a people i would love to love to see on tv and and then you know just be patient man I, there's a lot of things you want to see you asking where i want to go like that's so much but when i start rushing that's when i start crashing so i'm trying to learn <laughs> learn to be, be be patient um but at the same time give our consumer what they're looking for yeah so what are some of the challenges i know you kind of everything you said is a challenge but kind of kicking and hoard in on one challenge that the, the uh, network has right now. Like I said, we're we're Avon, right? So okay. so we depend on that um, advertising dollars. To, yeah. To so trying to listen, just to be quite honest with you, trying to get brands to see us as a network and not necessarily have the ridiculous numbers right now, being a two-year-old network. 
but we have the credibility of the type of programs that we do and the people that are on the program and we have a loyal fan base. Um, not being yet uh, fully black owned. You know, um, you're competing for those dollars with, with other black owned business, which is great. There's enough to go around. But that's part of the challenge is, is, is just to get the advertisers now to start uh, spending some of their dollars with us. Yeah, yeah. And then other creative ways to make to make money as well, other other ways to bring in revenue um, as well, because you got the content. So that's yeah. one of the things about my platform. You have to think of creative ways to bring in more dollars. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, honestly, I... I I study everybody, man. I, I'm a, I'm a real, I sit back in early in the mornings or late at nights and I'm studying people that have had success. I'm studying people that have had great failure, but have come out of that failure to, to acquire great success. Um, and then I try to learn models because, like I said, I'm still growing and learning every day. Um, but I love what like the Rock Nation model has done. He's touched every part of the culture, be it sports, music, management, um, literature, touring, television. And so that's, we have to do, I think, Fox Soul a little different. I think that's what, that 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 is my mission every day to how can Fox Soul be, touch everything the culture um, is a part of. Amazing, amazing. And so um, please let people know what you got coming up, what you want us to stay tuned for, what, what we, can we be watching out for. How to how to um, connect with you guys? Please let the audience know. Yeah, I really want um, you know Juneteenth. I don't know if you're aware, but we were actually um, filming the Miss Oprah's Walk Live, um, and then a few days later, it, it finally was made a holiday. So we were able to do that. So this year we have Juneteenth honors with the Juneteenth Foundation um, in DC that's going to air on June 19th as well as Father's Day. We need to support those type of things. Um, and, and that's what we're here for because you're not going to get that type of stuff anywhere else. We are giving our culture the things that you normally don't hear about. Um, so we have that, you know, coming up June 10th. We have the air of crime and hip hop, which, which is good for us. Uh, the Lobby Boys with Jim Jones and Mano, um, their council, which is really, which, which is really good. And then um, just continue to support, man. Like, you have a voice here, and that's the one thing I want to I want to stress. Like as a as a as a as a viewer, you have a voice. You could join our community and, and, and talk about the things that you want to talk about in real time. And and you know, again, there's enough. We have the BTS that are staples in our household. We have TV ones, and we have all of those places, and they do great at what they do. Um, I just feel like being live and interactive is is the key to Fox Show um, for anybody. Could be heard, and I think that's the one thing I, I, most of us in our, in our, in our communities uh, wish they had was was just to be heard and have that voice be respected. And that's what uh, I just ask for that continuous support. Wow! Well, thank you so much. Uh, I'm so excited that you've done the platform. So excited to get a little bit more, um, you know, in, in depth about who you are and, and, and the wonderful work that you're doing. Uh, put a, a face to the name, name to the face, and to see a little bit of part of you. Uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you for the exclusives and all the insights you have given the platform today. And hopefully you'll be back real soon. Hopefully you can come on the radio show and talk to us too. We love to have, because we syndicated 24 stations on NAB. So love to have you on there and touch that audience over there. So that would be great. And so love you to come over there as well. So we'll be a connection. And uh, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. I'm loving it. So just keep doing what you're doing. I right, thank you, brother, and um, continue blessings to you as well. Congratulations on everything that, that you're doing, and continue to shine and grow. Appreciate you. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day. Thank, thank you so much. Well, there you have it, King Simon Entertainment. Another great interview here on Hollywood Now with the founder, executive producer James Du Bois of Fox Soul. Um, thank you guys so much. If you have not shared this video, make sure you share. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, King Simon Entertainment on YouTube. King underscore Solomon underscore E-T underscore on Instagram. Click the bio in the link, connect you to the YouTube as well. Um, and thank you guys so much. Uh, on Facebook, we're um, Solomon, S-O-L-O-M-O-N-D-A-V-I-S.
Make sure you guys share, subscribe. And until next time, guys, thank you guys so much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.